huge New Year's resolution type of girl, so definitely one of the things that I want to work on this year is just like uh, some physical things, not just in the gym, but in terms of like body hair. So my dad blessed me with um, very uh, a full head of hair, bushy eyebrows, like I'm just literally Chewbacca's sister at this point. And over the years, like, it's it's gotten somewhat easier to manage. However, you know, I've been through two situations where I tried professional laser hair removal. And uh, the first time I got burned, so I guess I can do a story time about that, but or like insert a picture or something. And then the second time, it went well, but the thing is I just couldn't finish my sessions. And so there's that. Um, I think that doing laser hair removal is super pricey when you have darker skin because when we look at, I believe it's called the Fitzpatrick or Fitzgerald um, scale, it's basically numeric numbers, sorry, uh, what am I saying, Roman numerics um, from 1 to 6 that determine your skin tone. So 1 being the fairest, 6 being the darkest. I think I'm around a 5. Um, not all at-home lasers work on, um, numbers 5 and 6, and that's why it's more, it's, it's safer to go to the salon. Only thing is, the technology that they use, which is a laser called the ND Yag laser, is a lot smarter because it actually knows how to pinpoint, um, the pigment in your hair as opposed to the pigment in your skin, and that's actually how I got burnt, because... At some point, the laser was just too strong, and it bun up my skin instead of the hair. So luckily, like, I was, I healed from that. Don't have any, well, I do have scars, but, like, I healed from it. And, uh, you know what, I was thinking to myself, especially with lockdown during a pandemic, how is it feasible, or how does it make sense to go to a salon... And every six to eight weeks, what, we're going to have a lockdown, I'm going to miss it. So, you know what, I've been doing a lot of research, maybe even not enough, but doing a lot of research. And I thought to myself, you know what, whatever, I'm going to buy an at-home laser. Maybe I'm not the best candidate for this. I tried looking on YouTube for other women of color who have tried this specific at-home laser and I haven't seen any. Like, if you know of some, or if you personally made one, please link it down below. But as far as I can tell, um, there's none out there. So I figured, why don't I share my experience and show it to you? Like, this is definitely going to be a series on my channel about my laser hair removal journey at home because I've already tried it at a salon and to no avail so now I'm just gonna try this and hopefully it's gonna work okay this is not sponsored I bought this with my own money like I said I've been looking into it for a long time I was gonna get it um, last year October when I saw it on sale I, I hesitated um, boxing day I just couldn't give it up being that the new year was around the corner. I just wanted to start off on like, I don't know, start the year off with this so that I can really see the progress and it's easy to, to track because it's the new year, right? So here we have the Silken Beautiful Technology Infinity. So it says here, hair removal permanent results combined with galvanic um, and optical energies for enhanced results. So then we have it in French and I think Spanish as well. On the side it shows a woman and a man and all the areas that you can do. So that's face, underarms, um, arms, bikini line, legs, uh, back and chest. On the back, sorry, it has like fingerprints of my makeup. On the back it talks about skin color sensor for superior safety, a lifetime of silky smooth uh, hair free skin. These are really, really really big claims, okay? I don't know if I'll be able to debunk this, but then it says, no refill required, results driven, galvanic um, energy. Again, French and Spanish. So here it's just showing you like a diagram how that works. So the energy opens the skin's pores and enables the optical energy to penetrate deeper into the hair follicle. 
and then supposedly that same optical energy is selectively absorbed in the hair shaft and ensures that hair removal is achieved in the quickest possible way. And then lastly, it shows here after the treatment, um, by opening the pores, uh, body lotion will be better absorbed for silky smooth skin. So, apparently I'll be hairless and I won't be crusty. Like, I'm going to be the cutest naked mole rat you ever saw in your life. So, um, then on this panel of the box, we have here that it shows you to shave first which is something that I'm used to because when I went to like the salons, that's what you had to do regardless. Then here you plug in your device, you set the um, energy, and then you go. What I find weird though is the fact that at the bottom, that's where they show you the um, Fitzpatrick, Fitzgerald, Fitz scale, okay? Like, the average person, unless they're looking for the price, they're going to, like the barcode, they're going to flip it at the bottom. But I, I feel like maybe the skin scale should have been, like, right at the front, you know? But anyways, it's at the bottom, and it shows here, um, like, the fairest of all skins can use energy levels from 1 to 5. There's 5 in total. And then as you go up in, like, deep skin tone the lower energy that you have to use. So being a five, which I think I'm a five, I diagnose myself as a five, maybe I'll be like a six in, in the summer, but as of now, winter, I can only use energy levels one and two. So when I was at the salon versus like, I guess when I try this, I already knew that whether I had like the ND Yag Laser, which is better for darker skin, we still had to start at a very low energy frequency and then like slowly build ourselves up. So I know this is going to take a long time. Um, I'm hoping to see results as fast as possible. I guess like today I can do a little patch test. But I just want you to know that going forward today, I'm constantly going to be doing updates on my experience with this. So what it do, Jada Boo? Okay. So now that we went through the box, at least the labels and why I'm doing this, um, it just looks like this. So the sleeve, the sleeve is uh, kind of necessary because you have the, the, the skin scale on there, which I think they should have just included everywhere. So inside we have here the Silk In Travel Hard Case. It's like this uh, space gray, if I can say that. That's how you know you're an iPhone user when you start saying space gray. <laughs> like, what is that? When have I ever been to space? And is there even gray up there? Um, so anyways, pretty hard case. Can probably, you know, knock someone out with this. Again, my makeup is getting everywhere. But yeah, it's a cute little travel case with a zipper. So we're going to unzip this. And it zips in one direction. You don't know. Uh oh. Okay. So inside we have the device in a protective plastic sheet. We have the plug. I did like dabble with this earlier, so like the plug wasn't shifted like this when I got it. Then this like styrofoam thing to protect it. And in the sleeve, which I haven't investigated yet, um, we have here a notebook, which I think is the manual some sort of like velvet cloth, whatever. Okay, so we have the product warranty and then we have the manual. So, let's see here. Okay, so there's warnings. Oof. Oof, I'm scared. I'm scared, 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 I'm scared. We're gonna have to look into this anyways, but okay. Um, I'm gonna do close-ups of the device, but uh, if you've been on YouTube long enough and you're like probably one of their target consumers, you've probably seen something that looks like this but goes by the name of Kenzie, but I'm pretty sure Silken was like the OG, like I'm pretty sure Kenzie and all those other ones copied this because this has been around for a hot minute now and the other ones were just practice. So that's why I went with like the OG, like yeah you would think the new ones might have something new to bring to the table, like that whole copycat business model, 
and having like one slight competitive um, advantage. But honestly, though, I just feel like this this should be promising. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. If I take an L, I take an L, but it's whatever. Um, I saw on a review actually that the girl she had like a, an adapter here for like the UK, but this simply just has two. What do, what do you want to call it? Prongs? Prongs? I don't know. Two sticks for Canadian outlets. So that's that. So the box is not very interesting. Like it's literally just something that you carry around with you. You know, because it's, that's actually the biggest selling point for me. The fact that, okay, if I'm going to travel, I don't have to stress about, oh no, I'm going to miss my laser hair removal treatment. Ah! You know, and then like get the whole cycle mixed up. I just don't want to have to stress about that. So I'm really happy about this and like I'm, I'm actually so excited to try this. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's have a look at the, so we have this velvet thing, I'm not going to open it just yet. So looking at the manual, it talks about the warning, the uh, contradictions, no, contradictions, yeah, uh, safety with silk, silk and infinity, get to know your silk infinity, device controls, what to expect, possible side effects, oh, treatment plans, getting started, cleaning and maintenance, troubleshooting, customer service, disposal, etc 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 okay so we have the skin scale in here the warnings don't use it while bathing okay that seems like like common sense uh, keep the adapter accessible at all times so it can be removed um, always switch it off disconnect okay these are pretty like uh, da, 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 sensor loose tracking experience is not designed for everyone hair remove Hair removal by lasers or intense pulse energy can cause increased hair growth in some individuals. Maybe that's what happened to me. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I want to cry. Maybe that's what happened to me because after I stopped doing my salon sessions, I swear like I just got hairier. Oh my gosh, what if that's like me? Based upon current available data, the highest risk groups for this response as females uh, are females of Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, South Asian heritage, treated on the neck and face. If you are not sure if Silken is for you, please contact your dermatologist. Yikes. <laughs> Whoa. We should read these things more often. <laughs> um is intended for self-treatment only. Don't um, operate this device on an individual other than yourself. Wow. Do not use if you have really, if you have naturally dark skin, refer to the color chart at the front. Treating dark skin results in adverse effects such as, such as burns, blisters, and color changing. So hyper or hypo pigmentation. Hi, hello, that happened to me. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm scared. This is why we have to do a patch test. We gotta do a patch test. Well, I'm so scared. Where should I put the patch test? I, like, oof, I have to decide, like, where it's not too obvious. I shaved my legs yesterday, so I'm thinking my legs, but... Um, have naturally white, gray, blonde, red body hair, um, are pregnant, or exposed to sunlight or artificial tanning. If you have, like, a history of keloidal scars, no. Um, abnormal skin conditions, like diabetes. Oh, caused by diabetes, <laughs> not like diabetes. Um, being treated by alpha droxy, Accutane, received drugs, steroids, suffer from epilepsy, have an active implant such as a pacemaker, um, insulin pump, skin cancer, yo, allergic to metal, cannot sense heat properly because of an illness, have any other condition. Whoa, do not use on areas of your body that you have metal braces or metal implants, um, on tattoos, permanent makeup, dark brown spots such as large freckles, warts, nipples, genitals, and lips. Areas with injected fillers or toxins, areas that are prone to 
rosacea, areas that are painful, areas of the body that have a history of outbreaks unless you consulted your physician, um, skin that ha has active eczema, areas where you may want hair to grow later. The results are permanent. They fully said results are permanent. Are they really? Does that mean the side effects are permanent too? Oh my gosh. The, a the EHPL is, <clears throat> is able to achieve long-term hair removal results as a f at a fraction of energy level used in the light-based hair removal equipment. The technology combines two energy sources and uh, it enables the skin. Okay, so it's basically what we read on the box. Yikes, 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 yikes. Device description. Okay, uh, the device has a treatment surface with a pulse button. Okay, we saw that. Let's, let's go back to the device. Oh my gosh. I'm scared! I'm not scared of lions and tigers and bears, but I'm scared of laser hair removal. I'm not scared of lions and tigers and bears, but I'm scared of using you. Okay, here we go. So, um, it also has a pair of electrodes, base and touch, creating na 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 na. Okay, so intended use. Okay, so refer to the diagram. Control button, short press. Each press increases the energy level. So I think that's this right here at the back. Um, pulse one, short press, triggers light pulse. That would be here. Touch electrode in contact with the skin, that's here. Energy level indicator, that would be on the back. And ready skin tone warning indicator, green, constant. Um, that would be right beside the power button. Uh, light, light based hair removal on darker skin tones may result in adverse effects. Huh? Blisters. Ugh. So it detects the colors of your skin almost instantly, then the color sensor checks your skin color at the start and occasionally during each treatment. If you see no light pulse and the ready skin tone warning indicator blinks rapidly, this is an indication that your skin tone, measured by the skin color sensor, is too dark for a safe application. Try using the device on a different part of your body. Whoa. That's different. I'm not scared of... Okay. Side effects has five... Uh, sorry, the device has five levels, so you're going to start the lower one. Um, to change energy levels, press the... Do not increase energy levels during a treatment session. If you feel no discomfort, always begin at the lowest setting. Okay. Press treatment surface area. Okay, so you either go like two, like... Like do do do, like ch, 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 or to the side. Ch, ch, ch. So that's what it's saying. Either this way or this way. Okay. Um, after each pulse, move to the treatment surface to the next spot. Keep doing this pulse action in the area that you're treating. Avoid gaps and overlapping using the device. Gliding is the best treatment for larger areas of the body. Wow. There's a fan noise, a pop sound with each pulse, a sensation of warmth and tingling, some mild red and pink color. Side effects. Minor skin discomfort, skin redness, increased sensitivity of the skin, blisters and burns, skin wounds, scarring, pigment changes, excessive redness and swelling, infection and bruising. Okay, treatment plan. Yikes. Treat, uh, tr a typical treatment plan during a full hair growth cycle. So, a typical plan takes 12 to, sorry, 18 to 24 months. During this time, multiple treatment sessions may be required in order for permanent hair removal. 
18 to 24 months. Dude, I'm doing this until 2023. <laughs> this, efficient, this efficiency of hair removal varies from person to person according to body hair, body area, hair color, and how the device is used. Um, plan two weeks apart. So for the first, for the first treatments of one to four, I'm going to plan them two weeks apart. So that means for the first four treatments, it's going to take me two months to do the four, the first four treatments. So maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe like I'm going to do the patch test. I'm going to do the first treatment and then I'll come back like do to do it. Like I'll post a video in two months of the process like that. I think that's how I'll do it. Then the uh, treatments five and seven, it's uh, four weeks apart. So every month, and and then treatments eight plus is as desired. Ideal body parts include underarms, bikini areas, arms, legs, back, shoulders, and chest, excluding nipples. For the face, use below cheekbones. Do not go around or near eyes or lips. Getting started. Do a patch test. Okay. We're we'll connect the device. Oh my god. Ah, should we connect it now? Should we connect it now? I feel like I should like go to the bathroom or something for this because I don't have a plug like readily available to show you. I mean I do, but it's low-key kind of far. Okay. Um, all the energy level do a patch test, follow steps one through five. Um, if you experience a little discomfort, repeat the patch test for each area you wish to treat. Whoa. Remove all jewelry before use. Before treatment, the skin should be shaved, clean, dry, and free of any powders, antiperspirants, or deodorants. Do not wax, pluck, or tweeze the hair out. So I'm going to do my legs. I'm going to patch test my legs. My I would try my armpits right now, but the thing is, like, I have deodorant on, so I need to, like, shower. Um, no alcohols, perfume. Make sure to cover up tattoos, moles, warts, large freckles, black spots, and other marks on the skin that should not be treated. Use a material that did not, does not absorb light. Press the control button. Oh my gosh! The device will turn on. The level 1 energy level will indicate approximately 1 second after pressing the control button, the ready skin tone indicator green will turn on. The device is ready for you to trigger the first pulse at the lowest energy level. Always start at an energy level one of your treatment. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright, I think we're ready to try this. So I'm going to do a little bit of a close-up for you. And we're going to try this out, okay? I'm nervous. I'm like hella nervous. <laughs> It sounds like a vacuum. By the way, that's not a bug, that's an eyelash. Okay. So it's on. Okay. So I think I have to put it on my skin. Oh. I think it's okay. I think my it says it's okay. Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. I'm gonna press it now. Wait, let me put it here. Okay, look, it's still flashing. All right, here goes. Ah! Is it on there? Okay, ready? Here goes. I don't wanna look at it. Whoa. Okay. Wait. 